This is Nick with LogosByNick.com, and in this tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can take a vector object and apply this very quick and simple sketch effect to it using the Hatches Path effect in Inkscape. So to get us started here, I'm going to apply this effect to a really simple shape first. So let me get this out of the way. I'm going to grab the Circles and Ellipses tool, and I'm going to click and drag on the canvas to create a circle like that. I'll hold Control to make this perfectly round. So I'm going to apply the sketch effect to this shape, and then we'll go ahead and apply it to some text. So the first thing we want to do is open up the Path Effects menu. So I'm going to come up here to where it says Path, and I'm going to click on Path Effects. And you're going to get this little menu over here on the right-hand side of the screen. And what we're looking for down here is where this little plus icon is. You click on that to add a new Path Effect, and you're going to see you have this whole list of different Path Effects to choose from. The one that we are looking for is right here. It's called Hatches. If you're having difficulty locating it, you can come up here to the search bar and just type in Hatches, and there you go. There it is. Okay, so once we apply that, as you can see, it took the object and filled it with these lines, otherwise known as hatches. And what you can do now is grab the Edit Paths by Nodes tool. And if you notice, let me zoom in on this a little bit. If you notice, we have these green nodes right here. We have this one green node, and then we have this green node. And then down here, we have this yellow node, and then we have this yellow node. So let me show you how this works. This first green node right here, if you click and drag it, it allows you to change the position of the hatches on the object. This green node over here allows you to change the density and the direction of the hatches. So if I bring the green node closer to the other green node, it makes the hatches more dense like that, so it fills in more of the shape. And then if you rotate it around like that, you can change the direction of it. So let me place this right about here. Over here we have um, this, these yellow handles right here represent the bend. So you, you, what you can do is take this one handle and give this object a bend like that by clicking and dragging it out like that. And this other yellow handle represents the start point of that bend. So if you were to take this over here, notice the two handles are moving together. If I put this one over here, this will be the start point. And then over here, this will be the end point. And I can move this all the way out like that. And as you can, as you can see, we are creating quite an intense bend there. So let me put that back towards the original one because I don't want this to have much of a bend at all. I'll put this back in the center of the object. And let me zoom out a little bit. I'm going to grab the Select tool now. Let's say we want to make these hatches thicker or larger. What you can do is just scale down the object using the Select tool. I'm going to hold Control so that it scales proportionately. Scale it down like that. And as you can see, it makes the hatches bigger if you scale it down. If you scale it up, it makes them thinner. So let me scale this down a little bit so I get a nice a nice size hatch that I like right there. That looks pretty good. And after you do that, you may want to edit the, um, you may want to go back to the nodes tool and edit the, uh, the density of those hatches, as you can see here, make them a little closer together like that. And once you're finished applying this effect, you can finalize it by going to path, object to path, and now that is a vector path and no longer a path effect. Okay, so that is how you can create that simple sketch effect uh, for like a regular object. Let me show you how to do this with text now. I'm going to grab the text tool right over here, click on the canvas, and I'm going to write sketch. And I'm going to change the font of that. I'm going to go to text, text and font, and I'm looking for... Uh, I'm going to use a heavy font for this. I'm going to use chunk 5. You can use whatever font you'd like, but I'd recommend using a really bold heavyweight font. Click apply. Let me grab the select tool and scale this up. Hold control so it locks the proportions like that. Now the thing with these path effects, with this sketch or this, this uh, hatches path effect, it only works on paths. It won't work on objects that aren't paths. This right here is a text object, so the, the hatches path effect won't work on this unless we convert it to a path. So in order to change this from a text object to a path, we just select it and go to Path, Object to Path. And now I can come back up here to my Path Effects menu, add that path effect again. There it is, hatches. And if you notice here, there's not much visibility there because there's not much density between those hatches. So let me zoom in. Let me grab the Edit Paths by Nodes tool. And I'm going to take this green handle and bring it towards the original like that. And as you can see, we are getting the sketch effect as we intended. There we go. That looks pretty good right there. Now I'm going to zoom out. And to finalize this, I will go back to the Select tool. I'll go to Path, Object to Path. And there you go. Now we have our simple sketch effect that we have created using Inkscape. If you found this lesson useful, 
Be sure to check out my Inkscape Masterclass. It's a collection of over 60 videos where I go over all of the tools and features in Inkscape, just like I did in this video, and I explain what they are and demonstrate how they work. We even have a private community where you can answer, ask questions, and get help from me anytime you want. I'll have a link in the description of the video if you want to check that out. As always, thanks for watching.